welcome back to In the Kitchen with Delightful Donna. Today we're going out and about, just doing a little bit of shopping around town, and we decided to come to downtown Glendale in Arizona and go to Soretta's Candy Company. Soretta's has been here forever. I don't know, we'll put it in the description exactly how long, but it's been a really long time. And they make all of their chocolates and all of their candies on site. They do have a factory tour during the week, uh, Monday through Friday, but it's not available on the weekend, so we didn't get to do that today. But um, we got a nice little bag of treats. So we're gonna finish our shopping, and then when we get home, we'll do um, a tasting video for you guys so you can um, check out all of the nice treats that they have here. Boy, do I have a bag for you guys. Let's move it over here. I got. Kaylee with me today and she's going to help me try some of these treats because Rich is behind the camera so it's not as fun. Dun da da dun for my turkey. I love Rice crispy treats. I got a turkey for my turkey. You want to try that first? All right. Okay. I like the little bow they put Isn't in the little cute? Thanksgiving colors. Little rack. Yeah. We do Thanksgiving here. Not the holidays. Yes. Sorry. She's on me because I want to put up my Christmas decorations already. So she's trying to it's Thanksgiving throw shame. Time. It's not, fine. Not Christmas. I, I need scissors, wow, guys. Rich. It smells so good. It's so strong. Oh, it smells really good. Like very vanilla y. Mmm. Some up in there. Oh. That is that good. mint? Oh. Is it? A, that's what they were making this morning, so. It's, oh, you guys. Oh my gosh, we walked in that place and as maybe. soon as you opened the door, you just smelled mint. Now, I don't know, maybe people aren't familiar with Soretta's, but they're famous, I'll just show you really quick, because they're famous for this right here. Oh my God. French mint truffles, that's their kind of trademark. That's, I don't know if that's how they started or whatever, but like they're famous now for these. And we walked in there and they were making them today. We didn't see them like actually doing it, but you, as soon as you opened the door, it was like, it hit you right in the face. It was like, oh yes. There. So yeah, Damn good. That to the side. So this might be mint on your Kaylee. I didn't even think of that when I bought it. That would be delicious. But look how cute it is, guys. <laughs> Let's just get our hopes. So it's hand shopping. decorated. It's a rice crispy treat. In case you guys didn't figure that out, and then it's dipped in what we think is their mint chocolate, and with got a cute little hand decorated turkey on it. So. We're gonna cut pieces because these are all pretty big treats and I can't be having all that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the corners. Is that okay, Kaylee? Yeah. Just a small piece, just so we can get a tip. What? Is it filled? What kind of sorcery is this? It's filled inside. Look, well, there's something like the in this, you guys. Wait, we might have to take it off the stick. There's something inside. Hold on. Is that a friggin' candy corn? Oh my God, is it? I think it's a candy corn. Wait, take the Heck hand off the yeah. Stick. Why? So that we can see what's in, now we have to investigate. Now I you either think there's pull anything. it out or. You're not gonna do a pull out. Pull out game strong. Is there something in there? No, I don't see anything. I wonder if it was just the icing okay, from. Let's just act like we didn't do that. Here we go, nobody knows. Our secret guys, okay? Tell them about it. Oh, you probably want a piece of this. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. You can smell the rice cereal, the marshmallow. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe they make their own marshmallow there as well, because I know they have marshmallow candies, mm. and I believe they do. And something I noticed today when I was in there, um, I think Rich is gonna put snippets of the video that we took when we were at the, the um, store, but they have, they sell like chocolate chips there, you guys, with their like blended chocolate, whatever their their mm -hmm. magic is there. And we saw one of the things we saw, and I totally thought of your brother, they have a four pound chocolate bar. Oh four God. pounds, you guys, it was huge. It was so awesome. Okay, let's get back to this. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Mmm. Not good. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the mint. I think mm -hmm. it's just white chocolate. It's colored green. Mm -hmm. It's weird because it smelled minty. It did. That's interesting. It's good. It's very chewy. Mm-hmm. 
Not overly sweet though. Sometimes Rice Krispie Treats can be like, whoa. This is not. The texture's nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I might prefer really it without good. the chocolate on top of it though. Really? Yeah. You always like them dipped. I know, but. It's really good though. A little too good. much with, I the, think a with little the coating. Bit. Yeah. Just for me though. Yeah. It's good, I like it. It is good though. Yeah, it's good. Okay, we got to just have another one in here. We're not gonna taste this one because they're basically the same. It says gobble till you wobble and I thought that was really cute. So we got that That's for cute. Joe. <laughs> Cause isn't That's that cute? cute? And doesn't it totally match yeah. Joe? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. Let's put this back in here. Okay. Uh, what should we do next? I think we'll do the mint one last I because that know. mint I don't even taste. know what you have. I think we're going to go here next. Rich is giving me the eyeball, you guys. I swear to God, he just gave me stink eye because this is his box and he's like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm really going to open my box. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's so cute. The box is really cute though. And guys... Milk chocolate cherry cordial. This is Rich's all time favorite candy. Listen, we're normally C's candy junkies. We grew up on that. And he, there are several things that he likes from there. And he's very specific about it. And this is one of them. They look so good. You guys, <laughs> cheater. What a cheater, huh? You can tell that they're hand dipped. Oh my God, it <laughs> They smell so good. Oh my God. So clearly they're dipped in milk chocolate and then with a white chocolate drizzle. You guys, it smells so good. As soon as we opened that plastic, when I pulled that off, it just, oh, the aroma. I think Mercy. I found a new air freshener. <laughs> right? Uh. Listen, you can't have all the foods for the air freshener. Okay. I'm just gonna pick one because he's these, gonna get mad no matter which one it is. These are not my favorite. Yeah, Kaylee's not a fan, but <laughs> you know, these are rich. Let's favorite. take a little one. I have a little one here. Hopefully it's not gonna ooze out when I do it. Okay, Ooh. there's a cross section. So these are literally like usually when you have a cherry cordial. There's either a cream filling or the liquidy filling that comes out when you cut it open. It looks like there's a little bit of that, but it looks like it's mostly just a chocolate dipped cherry, you guys. Which actually might not might be, be bad okay, because right? I don't like the filling part. Okay, ready? Let's see. Oh, you can smell that, that cherry so, so sweet. Their chocolate is so good there. And I'm not a huge fan of chocolate to begin with, I, I don't eat a ton of chocolate. When I do eat chocolate, it's usually dark chocolate. That's what I prefer. But I'm more into like um, sticky, chewy, gummy, that kind of snacks. Marshmallowy. But yeah. So okay, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Just eat the whole thing. Mm -mm. That's good. It's okay. That's really good. It's all right. But you have that. The chocolate. The chocolate's really creamy. It's a maraschino cherry, so it's very sweet. But the chocolate is really creamy and has a really nice balanced taste to it. It's not too acidic. I liked it. You didn't like it? No. It was like not yeah, my not favorite. Me. <laughs> no? Mm -mm. Okay. What do you think, Rich? I'm going to have to say I could probably do Serena's overseas. Wow. That's saying something. Okay, so in Serretta's, they sell uh, the majority of their chocolates by the piece. And they're all individually wrapped and they're kind of in, um, they're actually like trays with dividers. And so they're just kind of, there's like two shelves of them and you just kind of walk along. It's all like a big, long. It's a good 10 feet, 10 feet long. Yeah, what do you, like almost like a bar top type of deal. Yeah. And then there's the shelves. And so everything has a little name on it, you know. <clears throat> like I said, it's all, um, individually wrapped each piece and the price of the candy listen don't freak out this is all handcrafted remember that this is local business that we're supporting it's all made on site 
um, by the original owners or the family of the original owners, I should say. Um, one thing I'll point out is that they've been there since 1968. Is that what we used? Like right, right around there. They've been there quite some time and this is all handcrafted. So it's not cheap candy. This is not go down and grab a Hershey bar. Okay. This is good quality, very good candies. So the price is $16.50 a pound. But when you compare that to C's candy, it's really not that bad because I think C's is around $23 or $24 mm -hmm. a pound now. So it's really not that bad. And like I said, these are also handcrafted. So here I have a bag of a whole bunch and I'm gonna pour them out on the table and then we're just gonna start picking through them. Sorry oh, for the noise. My. Let's get that off the camera. Okay, so one of the things that they're also pretty famous for is their caramels there. So we have a lot of different types that we're gonna try today, but there are also a couple of chocolate pieces in there. They're not a lot. You're gonna try to pick out each one? Oh no, there's a ton, honey. <laughs> and some of the dark ones, like some have nuts, some don't. And so there's, these have marshmallow. So anyways, and there are a couple of chocolate pieces. I don't, I didn't buy a ton of them uh, because we did okay. have the other couple pieces of chocolate as well. Okay. So we're going to start with this one. Like I said, they're all individually wrapped, which I love. And these are, like I said, these are all handcrafted. These obviously come from a mold. You can tell because they're very uniform. And I'm going to cut it in half. This one's going to be Kaylee's favorite. <laughs> I'm not a big chocolate person anyway. I know. So. This is actually, if my son was here, he would be freaking out. This is actually my son's favorite. This is orange. And it's, so the inside, if you can see the, it's the chocolate shell and the inside is like a truffle filling. So it's like a chocolate mousse type of filling. And I think that the orange is in that mousse in the center. I'm gonna let you just take a bite. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. She can't do it. Kelly's not a fan of chocolate with orange. So Our son gross. loves those chocolate oranges that you get at Christmas time where you smack them and they fall apart. That's his absolute favorite. <sighs> okay, this is dark chocolate on the outside, which I absolutely love. The inside is that creamy chocolate, like truffle filling. It's very, very smooth and very light tasting. It does have the orange flavor, but it's not overpowering. It's very good. I really like it. Do you want to try it, Rich? Yeah. Rude. Jill could have this one too. Hmm. Which flavor I put? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry I'm licking my fingers, but it's really good. Okay. Next. Moving on. I'm gonna be on sugar overload, guys. No. I'm not mad at it though. Okay. I'm gonna use a different part of the next so we don't transfer the orange. This one is milk chocolate. And I believe that this one is yeah, I think this is just chocolate truffle. So it's a milk chocolate shell and then just plain chocolate truffle on the inside. Mm. Oh, this one is delicious. I do like this one. Mmm. I like it because it reminds me of the lint. I was just going to say that. I bet those this, are my favorite. Mm -hmm. This mm. one is absolutely delicious, Rich. You need to try this. That one is very, very good. The inside is silky. Oh my gosh, that is so good. It's all milk chocolate all the way through, but the inside is just so velvety, smooth, mm -hmm. silky feeling on your tongue. Like, what do you think? I almost dropped that in a cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, Ooh. like a chocolate bomb, you guys. That's a good idea. That is so delicious. It has, their chocolate flavor is so, yeah, almost yeah almost neutral like it's not sometimes you eat like say for example i, I let's, to... let's say it this way i know everybody has at least once put a hershey kiss in their mouth on their tongue 
and just like, let it melt. Yes, it's like that. This one is a lot smoother and it feels like it melts a lot more creamier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say that Hershey chocolate is somewhat acidic to me. Mm. Although I like it, it wouldn't be my number one favorite. And this is not like that. There's no acidity to it. It's just smooth mm -hmm. and it just melts and it's dreamy. Yeah, that That's was good. freaking That's delicious. Good. Okay, let's try this one. I don't remember what this is, so. Oh, I do remember. Oh, I'm so excited. This is strawberry, you guys. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, I do remember. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Okay, so this is a round one. This looks like it comes from a mold as well. And then it looks like that maybe they just like to hand decorate the top of them. Oh, that cuts so nice. Ooh, Ooh Kaylee, look at it. I don't think I like it. It doesn't have a very strong strawberry smell. All I smell is chocolate. Uh -uh. You cheated. You've got to actually eat it. I'm it not looks a big like fan of the fruit and fruity filling. Yeah. But you like chocolate covered strawberries? Think of it like that. Well, so this of. one, like I said, doesn't really smell like strawberries. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this is, the the inside is real shiny. I don't know if it's the truffle kind of. No, it's more like a jelly. Oh. Kind of sticky. Try it. That's different. I don't, it's a little perfumey to me. I don't care for it. It tastes like rose to me. No, I can taste the strawberry. I taste the strawberry, but I think it's, to me it's a little more perfumey mm -hmm. than, than not even like artificial strawberry flavor. No. It's kind of got a hint to me a Fanta strawberry. It almost tastes like if you just had a spoonful of Nesquik strawberry powder and okay. just kind of like licked it. I don't know. I didn't, and you know, I was so excited for that one because Godiva makes a strawberry truffle that is amazing. Like, amazing. And it's always been my favorite, but it's more of a tart strawberry and it tastes very natural. This tastes, I don't know, this tastes more like chemical to me. It has a perfumey taste. I didn't care for it. I'm kind of bummed, <laughs> not gonna lie. No, right. you, got, you got real excited when you remember yeah, what it was. Yeah, now I'm like real sad, guys. That man, I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty happy that I only bought two though. <laughs> Now I don't have to eat a bunch of those. We're gonna only buy one. Oh no, there's another one. Yeah, Damn, that's, that's too bad. We'll save that for your brother. <laughs> okay, this is the special one that was like the owner's special recipe or something. So it has a white cream center. And then the chocolate has nuts mixed into it and I believe it was peanuts that they said mixed into it. It just smells like chocolate, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta really bite these, Kaylee. You're being a baby. <laughs> you don't like it. I don't know what that feeling is. It's supposed to be real. Mm. Sorry, your chocolate video is going a little different. <laughs> you know what that the filling tastes like to me? Mm. And I don't like it the center of a Cadbury egg. It's not really a flavor. It's, it's just like there. creamy sugar. I'm not a fan. Mm -hmm. The chocolate is very good, but with the peanuts, it reminds me of a baby root. I don't like baby roots. I love baby roots. You wanna try it? I'm making Rich eat all the ones we don't like. <laughs> That's what happens when you're the director. You get the crap. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? Those chunky candies. Or no, you know the ones that you buy at Walmart? The cherry filled ones and the pink wrappers? The cherry mash? Yes. Oh, big cherry. Yes, big that's cherry. what the chocolate With the nuts like in it? And the, the um, cream. Cream, cream center. That's what it reminds me of. Mm, that's probably why I don't like it. I don't like yeah, those. Yeah, those are gross. <laughs> I like it. Okay, not a fan, guys. 
Mm. I didn't care for that one. One thing to note, they come out of the wrappers pretty easily. Um, I think because there's so much butter in them that they don't stick to the wrapper. So that's always nice when you're unwrapping something you don't want it to stick. All right, here we go. Let's cut this in half if possible. As much as we can anyway. Looks like it has a marshmallow inside or chunks of marshmallow. It looks like, like little pieces. And it's kind of an orangey kind of color. Like if you compare it to the regular caramel, you can see it's kind of orangey. Oh, yeah, that smells all pumpkin pie right there. Oh, yeah, this smells so good. Smell it. That smells good. Smell it. She hates pumpkin pie, you guys. I do this on purpose because it's hilarious. Okay, one, two. You have to take a real I bite. Know. Mmm. Mmm. I like the marshmallow. <laughs> okay, Kaylee doesn't like it. I like it. It tastes like pumpkin pie. caramel with pumpkin pie spices. Oh, yeah, it tastes like a meat of slash pumpkin pie. I'm not a fan. Honestly, I don't taste a lot of pumpkin flavor, if I'm being honest. I taste the spices that are associated with pumpkin pie. You can taste this, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, maybe cardamom. But I'm a fan of those spices, so I love it. I'm going to eat the rest. Mm hmm that is delicious. This is a butterscotch. Rich actually picked these out, so I'm going to cut it in three pieces so he can have some. Oh my gosh. Another tiny piece for Rich. <laughs> Big piece for Donna. Little tiny piece for Kaylee. Just kidding. So. One for Richie Poo. Mm. This one good. So nothing really to see on the cross section, but basically this is just better. Hey, y'all, like really? I it yet. Rich. You're a cheater. I was just smelling it. It smells, it smells like, like butterscotch. It smells like those uh what do they call the Werthers? Mm-hmm. That's what it smells like, guys. It's very light in color as you see in comparison to the regular caramels. Mm-hmm. That's good. Uh, that it tastes like a Werther's. Mm -hmm. mm. What's oh, nice? <laughs> Sorry. It's not Play-Doh. The Play -Doh. texture on these is really nice. Like, the mouth feel is good. They're not like super sticky. Like mm -mm. you have some caramels get really stuck They're in your like teeth. They're like buttery. Mm -hmm. They're good. This one's it's good. very smooth. Like sometimes you, listen, if people don't make caramels right, they turn out kind of grainy and I don't like that at all. These are very creamy. Yeah, you can't even taste or feel any of the sugar mm -hmm. or anything. It's very, very smooth. They do a really good job with these. This is really, really good caramel, in my opinion. I think it's just chocolate. I, I don't... I think it's... Uh, uh, I don't know. This one's more hard. Yeah, this one chocolate. is a little firmer, and it might be because there's chocolate in it. But this one reminds me of a Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, I don't like that picture. Mm, I do. Mm -mm, this is 100% Tootsie Roll. No, thank you. It's a little bit salty. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This reminds me. They have one at C's called Almond Royale. That's what it tastes like. I'm good. I'm eating it. That's really good. Yeah. It has a little bit of salt. Mm, I like it. Okay. Oh, guys, I'm not gonna be able to eat sweets for a month after this. No, if you didn't have diabetes. Before, you do now. You definitely do now. Mm -hmm. I'm really chewy. I like this one. It's good. Really, really smooth. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're eating this one. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of mad about it. Look at all these wrappers. Jesus. That's my rap name. MC Rapper. MC Candy Rapper. No? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, it is. is! We did it! Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Good one, good. Mm -hmm. Rich is like going that easy. Yeah. Rich so, doesn't eat candy like this, so he's like, have, stop giving it to me. They have the, for during October, is it, what's it called? Great, great, Bracks, Brack, Brocks has the caramel apple, like their, the, the texture corn. of candy corn. That's what it tastes like? That's what it tastes like. This reminds me of that caramel apple pop. That right, too. Mm -hmm. All the pops that we like. Yeah, this one's good. Mm-hmm. We picked the right one. Good mm -hmm. job. God, that was so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two more things. Okay, this right here. This they call Arizona Gold. Essentially what this is, is honeycomb candy that is not dipped in chocolate. I love honeycomb, but I'm not a fan of all that chocolate, so this is amazing. I've not had this before from there. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with what honeycomb is, it's very similar to peanut brittle without the peanuts. So it's just the brittle part, and then they put baking soda in it at the end when it's all cooked and ready to pour out. You put baking soda and you whip it up really fast and then you pour it out and it puffs up. Now, personally, that's how I make my peanut brittle is I put baking soda in it so it puffs up like this because I like the way that the foamy candy is. I can break it apart. There we go. Okay. It just smells like burnt sugar. Mm -hmm. In a good way. I say that and you guys are probably like, why does she like burnt sugar? But I shouldn't say it that way, like caramelized sugar. I can smell from here. It smells it like smells butter. You can smell so the butter. Good. Ready? Oh my God, it's so good. The texture is airy. It's it's crisp, but not <coughs> not hard, crunchy like a regular peanut brittle. Very airy in the center. And it tastes very buttery. It's delicious. Last but not least. Mm. Okay, guys. Now we're doing it. We're gonna dip into the. My knife's dirty. <sighs> I can't get it. Or it should go from like under here where it's open. And then... How about I just tear it? Because who cares? It's ours. Oh. Or it was just gonna pop right off, anyways. Or it's just a sticker that pops right open. Seriously? What the hell? <laughs> Stop, you guys. Don't make fun of me. I can't help it. Sometimes I'm a little challenged. Well, what in the hell was <laughs> I got <laughs> issues. Listen, it's the sugar. Oh, my God, you this guys. This smells so good. Okay, listen. All I did was open this bag. Not even the candy, just the mm. bag. And all you smell right now is mint. You, when you store these, just a word of caution, don't store these with anything else. Put them in an airtight container and keep them completely separate. Like don't even put them in your pantry, nothing. Keep them like out on a counter somewhere away from any other food because everything will taste minty. That's not and a joke. And it's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's not a, not a joke. You're okay. gonna have no faith in me. I'm gonna cut this in three. These are very, very rich. I will tell you that. Mm -hmm. We've had these on several occasions. They're delightful. As you can see the cross section, there are the chocolate truffle inside and the mint is in the chocolate truffle. So the outside is just coating. I can't tell you how amazing these are. So if you're a fan of Andy's mints, like you get at Olive Garden, because that's the only place you can get Andy's mints. No, I know, but <laughs> Olive Garden. You, these, are better. these are rich. Why you keep cheating? Rich is a cheater, you guys. You can't see him off camera, so as soon as I give it to him, he just pops it in his mouth. I'm gonna savor this though. It's velvety smooth. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's from like the coconut oil that they use or whatever that makes it that smooth texture in the center. That truffle. It's so good, you guys. Could you imagine like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but with this? Let's drop mint these chocolate. in some milk, hot milk. Yes. Mint oh my goodness. Chocolate. It's so good. It's the mint is not overwhelming at all. It's a very light flavor and they just melt in your mouth. Absolutely delicious. So, all right guys. 
So like I said, all of this is from Soretta Candy Company in Glendale, Arizona. If you're ever in the area, go and see them and pick yourself up some treats. And thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram, cooking underscore with D I can't, sorry, still can't eat my mouth. Cooking <laughs> underscore with DD on YouTube. Follow, like, share, all that, subscribe. Share with everybody. We're still having that giveaway for a spice caddy when we get to 100 subscribers. And make sure you hit the notification bell at In the Kitchen with Delightful Donna. Thanks for watching. Bye.